super quick five minute vegetable stock. Let's get started. For this recipe you're going to need a blender and just a variety of vegetables that have nice flavours. So I'm going to be putting, I've got some fresh parsley, popping that in and a chopped up onion. But you can use whatever vegetables you like, a good Good idea is even to have a look at a store-bought one that you like and have a look at the ingredients, see what's in there and try to copy that. So I'm also putting in a couple of chopped up carrots. If you have organic carrot, um, it's fine to leave the skin on, but if you have non-organic, I personally would peel them, so up to you. I've also got a couple of cloves of garlic that are going in and some celery. So a mixture of the leaves and the stems all going into this blender okay I've also got one teaspoon of Celtic sea salt and about 20 black peppercorns going in here and I have two tablespoons of nutritional yeast flakes that I'm using today but if you don't have yeast flakes just leave it out, make it without, and adjust the seasonings to your own personal taste and preferences. And I also have two tablespoons of mixed herbs, and today I'm using sage, one tablespoon, and one tablespoon of basil. So these are just some dried herbs that I had on hand. So for this mixture now, I've got some boiled water, and I'm just going to pour that into the blender. Fill it up. Okay, and now I'm going to just let that sit for about five minutes just so all those flavours come out and into the water. Now our five minutes is up and I'm going to just open this up a bit because it is still really hot and just give this a blend up. Okay, so that's been blending for about a minute and if you have time just let it sit there a while longer even before you blend it if you want to cool it down a bit and just be careful because it is hot you don't want it to pressurize and for the lid, lid to shoot off and for everything to go everywhere and for you to burn yourself so even if you wanted to half fill it up to you how you want to do that so now that this is mixed I'm going to strain this off into a bowl And just get all of that liquid out. And if you wanted to, you could even um, run that through a cheesecloth just to make it even um, smoother, the mixture. But for me, that is fine. Now, I, I did forget to mention that with this pulp, if you really want to keep it, you could use it to make some vegetable patties or um, maybe even if you were making a meatloaf or a veggie meatloaf, a lentil loaf or something, you could add it in with that. Um, I'm not going to keep this because it was vegetables that I've had um, for a week or so and they were on their last legs. So, I've, and as I cook too, I usually keep all the scraps and ends of things in a container for this sort of purpose so I can make a stock at the end of the week. So. Just a nice little quick and easy tip for you. So there you have it. This is now ready to use anywhere where you would normally use a vegetable stock. And again, you can adjust the seasonings to whatever you like, but this is just a really quick and easy way to make a fresh broth or a fresh stock to use in any recipe that you're waiting to make if you don't have stock on hand. So give it a go. Let me know what you think of this recipe. Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you have anything in particular you'd like me to make, please leave your comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to print out this recipe on the website at cookingwithplants.com or follow me on Facebook at Cooking With Plants.
See you next time. Bye.